Now, if you're watching Strictly Come Dancing, you will know that Lauren Stedman, one of our great Paralympic athletes, is just one dance away from reaching the final. A great achievement for a girl who grew up in Peterborough. Yes, she takes to the ballroom this weekend with partner AJ Pritchard just days before her 26th birthday. Today, our sports editor, Jonathan Park, caught up with her in Portsmouth. One, two, three. One, two, three, spin around. They're watched by millions at the weekend, but on a Wednesday afternoon, it's just Five, Lauren and AJ seven, and a mountain of work one, to get two, through before the big show. Jamie, shake. Much better. You've got a long way in the competition, haven't you? You know, have you surprised yourselves how far you've gone? I definitely think so. Not in my wildest dreams that I think that I'd make the semi-final of uh, Strictly Come Dancing. I think I still go back and watch videos of us dancing online and I <laughs> that's me. Um, but it's been a roller coaster, and emotionally, physically, I've just put myself outside of my comfort zone, and I'm so glad that I took the opportunity. Last weekend on Strictly, Lauren and AJ bounced back from the bottom of the leaderboard with their highest scoring dance to date. A trio of nines from the judges. Nine. Even Craig managed an eight, so he's onto the semis and a 1970s classic. We've got this samba, it's rhythm, it's carnival, and honestly, we it's us having fun. a great time. We just love that dance. And the music is, um, so it's like, don't rock the boat, don't rock, rock the, the boat, boat, baby. baby. And it just, you just start kind of jollying it around. Slow, yes! <laughs> yeah! Lakista's followed Lauren since her early days as a Paralympic swimmer. Two more games followed in triathlon. Born missing a lower right arm, Strictly has taken her out of a comfort zone and is changing perceptions. Before kids and adults would, they would look at me and they would see my arm first before they saw me. Whereas now, they don't even see my arm. It's been normalised and it's just, that's Lauren and Lauren you're doing amazing. And I think that's how it should be and it's, it's just really lovely to, to be able to, I don't know, inspire everyone and just show them that anything's possible. So which foot do you go back on? Right. Left foot, it was a 50-50 option here. When you're yeah. taking on it, new information, physically you, you're quite good at keeping going. Sometimes I'm trying to push it to get a bit more flexibility, but mentally your brain just goes, no, I can't take any more information. And that's yeah. when we have to readapt and try and change things. I think I know what I'm doing on the bike and running and swimming, but then when you're dancing, you're like, that comes next and you have to point that toe. You have just to the find focus the camera. Face, like... Yeah, and I'm like, Whoa! So it's taken 10 hours of training to get mind and body in sync for the salsa. Forget rock the boat, though. The plan is to sail smoothly into next week's final. And then, who knows? Jonathan Park, BBC Look East. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that when somebody gives you a 50-50 choice and you get the wrong? <laughs> she's, done, she's just done so. I love she watching has. her. Really looking forward to that samba this weekend.